Okay, hi, this is Losh and um, I uh, am here today with my first ever screencast actually to demonstrate my fine little new extension for Inkscape called Create Sketch Layer. Uh, this is a very neat and very simple uh, extension which uh, serves well one basic purpose even if, if it can be used for many things um, and that's to add a s more simple way of just sketching away like you would do with your normal pencil pencil and paper before you actually start you know vectorizing stuff um, I will show you right now how it works first of all let's do like this and voila here's a frame i made for uh, instructional purposes before um, onto this frame or into it maybe i'm going to put uh, a pretty face to look on and uh, it's not very easy to sketch a face using Inkscape, you know, it's kind of limiting with the, the tools uh, tools uh, one has at hand. And I, so I usually think it's more appropriate to sketch in a bitmap based program and then uh, transferring it to Inkscape. So what I have done here is to simplify that process. So anyway, we'll create a new layer, which I will call sketch paper. And onto this layer. I will just draw a transparent rectangle. Rectangle. This element can be just anything, uh, but I will choose a, a rectangle. I think you will see precisely why in a moment. And then I go to extensions. This is in Swedish, as you can see the menu. So, but this is actually the extensions menu. And I go down to sketch uh, and click on my fine little extension and it asks where I want to save the sketch uh, that I've created and I have my home directory in Ubuntu uh, this needs to be filled out so you have to put something you know your Windows path or you know Linux path or whatever uh, we will name the sketch I just call it face and uh, here you can fill out your favorite editor for sketching and uh, I have GIMP. Uh, this is the the uh, name you will, would use at the command prompt. So uh, you can use my paint or GIMP or Photoshop probably or whatever. Um, anyway, I will click away on this little button. And what it does now is it takes this uh, this sketch paper that I just did. Uh, the transparent rectang rectangle. It uh, turns this into a uh, PNG, inserts this PNG into the active SVG, and then opens it up uh, using the the editor of uh, of choice. So now we have it open, and I can just try here to make a very simple sketch of face <laughs> this will not win any awards anywhere but it's just for <laughs> showing showing you what the purpose of the of the extension of course see so, oh, let's Oh, it's a happy camper. Wait, some. You should probably do this more carefully because the more stuff, the more lines you have, the the harder it will be to trace, of course, in the end. So, but uh, whatever. And let's put a nick on her. Very good. Oh, and some nostrils as well, because I'm a nice guy. 
Whoa, that's a big nose. Anyway, <laughs> I think I will just back up a bit, a bit. And now let's save this piece of art <laughs> and just close it. And I will get a warning here because of some thingy of with Inkscape opening its own file after uh, the extension has been applied. It's not an error, just a uh, warning. You can just click OK. And as you can see in the background now, we have our wonderful new face applied to our frame. So very easily I can now just oh, click on the face layer, which is our new layer for the sketch. And if I want to, I can just go to this, which, as you well know, traces the bitmap. And voila. Hmm, she has a beard. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> I didn't make any adjustments to the settings, as you saw on the, on the tracing. But you get the point. Anyway, I hope you have uh, lots of fun with this. When you've uh, made your bitmap, you can just, as you're used to, go in and uh, just edit externally if you're not happy with uh, the way it ended up. And, uh, you know, just use the, the usual workflow you have when using bitmap images within Inkscape. So very, very easy PC to, to work with. And um, so download and play around with it and give me uh, some constructive uh, uh, feedback, please. So ciao for now. Bye bye.